Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, and you're watching Lightburn for Noobs, Episode 3, Cropping Photos. So let's get straight to it. Let's jump over into Lightburn and let's crop a photo. I get a lot of questions about cropping photos, so that's why this video is being done today. So here I've got a photograph of myself and my beautiful wife at my son's wedding a few years ago. And yeah, I've gained a lot of weight since then. But we're going to crop this image out. So what we're going to do is just grab any type of a shape over here that we want. Uh, I'm just going to create a shape like that. And now I'm going to make sure this is on a toolpath, which it already is. It can use either one of these two two paths at the bottom. I'm just going to drag this over the top of the image like that. Now, maybe I want this to be a little bit bigger, like so. We'll make it just a hair bigger. And if you don't see this toolpath now, let me put it on the blue. Maybe that'll show up now. The orange shows up better. So there you can see we've got that toolpath. Now, if you don't see that toolpath, it's very possible that it's above the image layer over here on cuts and layers you see how the toolpath is above that image layer that means it's behind it and you can't see it so let's just drag this down and there you see it appears so this is very easy so all I'm gonna do is select that toolpath and you see if you can't really select it well let's come over here to the cuts and layers again hold down shift and click on the toolpath and that selects it for us so now with the toolpath selected we're going to select the image we're going to right click on it and we're going to apply the mask to the image now you'll see here based on the boundary that you're seeing on the screen that the photograph is still there light burn is not destructive not yet not until you tell it to destruct <laughs> But now we can come in here and move this picture wherever we want so that we get the right amount of crop that we want. And now with that done, we'll just select everything, right click again. Now we're gonna come down here to flatten image mask. Once we do that, the picture is now destroyed and all we're left with here is the actual cropped image. Now you can also create your own mask so if you come up here to the pencil tool on the left side you can create any type of mask that you want in any type of shape that you want I'm just going to do a quick creation here just by drawing in a few different shapes and of course you're not going to do something silly like this but this is the way I'm going to do it so now we've drawn that mask all the way around if we come to the selector tool, we want to click on this mask and then we want to hold shift and again, click on the photograph, right click, and we're going to apply the mask to the image. Now we'll just come in here and we'll do a little bit of tweaking to exactly where we want it like that. And now we can just select all and come right click again and flatten image mask. And there we go. Now we can resize this to whatever size that we need and that's basically about it so if you've ever been wondering how you can crop out an image whether it's a square or a circle or a freeform design that you wanted to do yourself that's just how quick and easy it is to do in Lightburn so i hope you enjoyed this video episode number three in the Lightburn for noobs on cropping out images and i'm going to continue on with this light burn for noobs all the way through now and forever <laughs> people are enjoying it i hope you're enjoying it if you are hit the like hit the subscribe leave me a comment down below let me know what you think about light burn for noobs i've been thinking about this for a long time i've seen some other creators do it in video shorts i'm not a big fan of the video shorts so uh, i decided to do it in long form you know in regular video size and i think everybody would probably like it better that way 
I mean, I can do the shorts. I just don't want to. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Shining bright, laser light in the bayou tonight. Rich the Louisiana hobby guy, he's ready for his flight. With his engraver in hand, he's got ideas in his sight. Carving dreams and making art, he's gonna do it right.